The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our OCP webinar, Getting the Most from Your OCP Marketing Investment. My name is Kaylee Burdett, and I am the Meeting and Event Manager for OCP, and I'll be moderating this webinar for you. Just a couple of housekeeping notes before we get started here. Um, I've muted everyone, all of the attendees. Um, so if you have a question throughout the webinar, please type it into the questions box, which you can find on your GoToWebinar control panel. And we will have a Q&A session at the end, um, and I will read your questions aloud to the presenters. Also, this session is being recorded, so I will send out a link to the recording as well as the slides to everyone who has registered for the webinar in the next couple of days. Now I'm just going to go through quickly our agenda for today's session. We're going to talk about the following things. We'll start with OCP branding and some resources for you all as members. Then we'll go through our social media and website channels and some um, ideas about how we can do event participate. You all can get participated in our events and then our marketplace, and then the best way for you all to get involved is OC mem OCP members. And here is the OCP staff. And today on the call, we have myself, Dirk Van Slyke, who is our Director of Marketing, Archna Haylock, who's our Director of Community, and Steve Helvey, who's our VP of Channels. So with that, I'll go ahead and pass it over to Archna and we'll get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Archna Haylock, and I am your community director. Um, we're going to begin with just a level set on the OCP mission. So the mission of the Open Compute Project is, is a collaborative community focused on redesigning hardware technology to efficiently support the growing demands of compute, uh, on compute infrastructure. What that means is primarily we're a community of engineers, community of participants, community of adopters, and community of curiosity. We want to leverage each other, we want to work with each other, and we want to learn from each other. Next slide. With the OCP uh, community comes a few logos, and I just wanted, uh, most of you are already familiar with this as members. You've either received a, a, a corporate member logo or a solution provider your logo or have products on our marketplace that have product rec you know that have one of these uh, OCP accepted or inspired logos but I wanted to familiarize you with the logos we do officially have these trademarked so if you are using them please ensure that your organization has signed either a certification mark or a logo usage agreement with the foundation and most of you probably have when you sign on as OCP members but those that are non OCP members can also learn um, and, and sign on. Uh, the OCP Foundation logo is what you see there, and then each of the membership uh, levels have uh, a separate logo associated with them. And then for those that have become solution providers with OCP, there's a very specific logo that they get with their solution provider um, membership. And then we have product recognition logos that have a product recognition program associated with them. Um, you can get all of this from our website if you're interested in membership or if you're interested in becoming a solution provider or putting your products towards the recognition program. Our local usage policy uh, is also available under our legal documents um, on our website as well. Next slide. So the foundation logo is, this is our logo that represents the foundation and there is permission required to use this logo. So if you would like to use this logo on websites, on your flyers, at trade shows, at presentations, we would be more than happy to uh, have you utilize the logo, but just get a hold of either uh, Kaylee or, or Dirk here on the phone, and uh, we'll work with you on making sure you have the right um, you know, uh, file for it the right size file and the right resolution to be able to brand it um, on your on your collateral. Next slide. 
the corporate member logos, you get these when you sign up as a corporate member. So if you are a community member, you will get the logo on the left. And if you are a higher tiered member like a silver or a gold or platinum, this comes with it. So when you sign your membership agreement, you will hear from Michael Schill from our membership department and he will give he will send you along uh, the, the corporate logos. Um, you can use your corresponding logo on your website. You can use it on your printed collateral. This is something that you use um, and you should be using and actively using on anything that you can promote uh, because you are a OCP member. Um, the only difference is you cannot use these logos on your hardware to indicate that a product has been approved by OCP. So if you do want a product logo, please go through our product recognition program and we do have a pretty um, detailed process on how you can contribute to the uh, foundation and how your products can earn that recognition. Next slide. Here's um, the different uh, product recognition logos that I was referring to earlier. So if your products are completely 100% compliant with an OCP accepted spec, and if the design files are open sourced and available, your product goes through the process, goes through our technical, it goes through our uh, technical project communities, and then through our incubation committee, which is basically our technical steering committee, and they um, uh, recognize the product as an OCP accepted product, meaning it's completely open, and you earn this OCP accepted logo. The OCP inspired logo means that you are still using an OCP accepted spec. However, your design files are not open sourced and they are not uh, available for public consumption, but the product is still based on an open spec. So you get an, you know, the, the middle OCP inspired logo. Um, both of these uh, product recognition logos have to uh, follow at least three of our four OCP tenants, and those tenants are efficiency, openness. They have to be uh, they have to be impactful uh, to the environment and to the community, and they have to be able to scale. So we want the product to proliferate. We want our marketplace to be able to support this, and so they have to be able to follow three out of these four tenants. And then lastly is our solution provider program. This is offering a channel for you to acquire either OCP accepted or OCP inspired products. And when you go to our marketplace, which Steve Helvey will speak to later, you'll be able to see our solution providers listed. And um, it, it is a very special program. We're very excited to have quite a lot of solution providers and for our adopters to actually have access to procure our OCP products. Next slide. So this is turn, like, go ahead. I was going to say, I was going to turn the, the floor over to Dirk, but um, if you have any questions, please post them in the chat and we will absolutely answer them at the end of the session. Dirk. Thanks, Archna. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about some of the available resources for you, as well as some events. So this is Dirk Van Slyke, and I'm the Director of Marketing for OCP. So some of the available resources available to the community and ways that we can help you is we've got a, a wide variety of them, from blog posts to guest bloggers to um, PR announcements and case studies, social media opportunities, we also love to conduct engineering workshops, meetings, and meetups, and lunch and learn sessions, as well as OCP hosted and co-branded events. Now, Steve's gonna talk about the marketplace in just a little bit, but as you think through these opportunities, really think of us as an extension of your marketing team for the OCP community. So that means if you've got announcements, events, or anything that you think is good for the community as a whole, then we feel that it's appropriate content that we wanna share with the community. We don't want to just be posting advertisements for your company. That's really not the way to think about it. But think about us as an extension. If it's good for the community and if it's newsworthy information, then we would love to share it with them. So here's just some specific examples of how we can help. So for example, we could do um, webinars with our members, like the one you see on the top left that we did with Nokia. Um, and we have this tool, the GoToWebinar tool, that we're using for this broadcast. 
is available to you as well. So we're happy to use our resources and our platform and our people to help put these things on in order to take the administrative duties away from you, not to mention the help promoting it to the community. But we can host engineering workshops or plug fests. We can present on behalf of OCP at member events and industry events. We can help coordinate regional OCP meetups as well as some of the logistics around those events. And we can co-locate with you at industry events. We do have a very strong social media presence in addition to our mailing list and our website and our blog readership. We are a very strong community and it's a very engaged community and you can see some of the numbers there, but we would love to help you magnify your messages through these channels. We've also developed a program where we will produce co-op materials for you in order to draw attention specifically to OCP gear or to any collateral or um, case studies, white papers, or any other content that you would like to share with your channels at industry events. So for example, you'll see an example of that on the right. Uh, uh, that's a banner stand that we produced on behalf of ATT um, at the Broadband World Forum. So we will pay for these materials. All you need to do is work with us to figure out what is the appropriate messaging. We'll put on there the appropriate member logos and any other um, information that we want and we'll ship them out to you and you can hold on to these materials for the events throughout the year. So you just need to reach out to us and let us know what you need. We're happy to produce these on your behalf. We're always looking for good content opportunities. So whether that's blogs, case studies, white papers or press releases, we're always up for telling a good OCP story. And the only thing that we ask is ideally we'd like a couple of weeks lead time just so that we can prepare, um, put it into our calendar um, uh, and, and have the time to go through and approve it and proof it. But if there is something that comes up that's an emergency or that's an, an opportunity that um, has some timeliness and some newsworthiness to it, just to reach out to us and we'll do the best we can to be as responsive as we can. The only thing that we really ask is that we don't want to talk about intended contributions. So we won't give quotes on that and we actually prefer for our members to not mention intended contributions. And really the only reason for that is um, we only want to talk about opportunities and products and contributions into the marketplace and into the community that people can consume. So we can't talk about things that people are thinking about contributing. We really want them to go through the process before we can talk about it. Here's just a few guidelines for events. We really have four simple requirements. Obviously you have to be a member in good standing with OCP, but at any level, we just ask that the logo corresponds with your membership level. And if you have any questions about that, you can just reach out to us and we can work with you on the appropriate logo usage and also messaging. And then if it's gonna be an OCP specific event, we would just like to work with you on any content, the presentations, and any messaging specifically around the foundation. And this really isn't meant to be overly restrictive, quite the opposite, but we do wanna just ensure consistency and accuracy and that we're meeting the guidelines that we have set forth for the foundation. But we can also help you with registration, promotion of the events through the channels that I talked about earlier, as well as even helping with some of the services associated with the event again, with just a little bit of advance notice. So for example, we can record and live stream those events using this GoToWebinar tool that we're using right now. And then after the event, we'd love to share feedback, successes, and other um, uh, opportunities that we feel would be newsworthy to the community that occurred during your event. And lastly, I'd like to talk about Summit. Obviously, this is our biggest event of the year. This year, it's March 20th and 21st in San Jose. We've already started selling sponsorships. In fact, we're about 70% through the sponsorships. So a lot of them have been taken, but there are still quite a few opportunities still available if your organization has not signed up yet. Tiered members get a significant discount off of their sponsorship participation at OCP. We have had our calls for participation. In fact, we had more than double the number of submissions that we have had in years past. So we're really getting excited and we feel like that there's gonna be a tremendous amount of wonderful content. So we're, this is really shaping up to be one of our best summits ever. Now, if you did miss the call for participation, there are other opportunities for you 
to get your story told while you're at Summit. For example, there are still are some engineering workshops that um, are that can be purchased by attendees and exhibitors. So that's still an opportunity as well as the meals give um, a few minutes at the beginning of the meals, for example, the happy hours and the luncheons and the breakfast, you do get the floor for 10 to 15 minutes in order to make product announcements, to talk about yourself, whatever you wanna do with that time. So just reach out to Kaylee or myself if you have any questions about that. OCP is a great opportunity to make product announcements because you've got such a, um, a captive audience in a concentrated time period and they're in the right mindset for receiving this type of information. So feel free to reach out to us to allow us to work with you on your product announcements. Now we can sign confidentialities. We can um, keep um, newsworthy content that you don't wanna, you, you wanna make sure doesn't get leaked out. We can put those under embargo to make sure that nobody gets wind of that information, but it helps us to know what's coming so that we can help you amplify the message. For example, we could get social media posts written, but not post them until you're ready. So again, just work with us to help you amplify that message um, and the appropriate announcements that you wanna make. And of course, Summit is a great opportunity for networking within some of the most visionary people in the industry. Now you'll see a link there, but it's also on the website to the prospectus. So if you have any questions about sponsorship, most of them can be answered there, but reach out to us if you have any questions and we're happy to work with you. And we would also encourage you to be creative. So if there's something that you'd like to do at Summit that maybe you don't find in the prospectus, just let us know what you'd like to do or what you're thinking and we're happy to consider it. Now I'd like to turn it over to Steve. Thanks, Dirk. Um, so as Archana mentioned earlier on in the, in the discussion, these logos are pretty important for organizations to be able to build their business. And ideally, we're helping organizations dif differentiate themselves in the markets and then help end customers identify who are the contributors and what makes an OCP product um, available to the market. So next slide. And I'll, I want to share just a few examples of how organizations are actually building their business and branding themselves. So here's a good example of a company. Um, it's, a, it's a community member based in the UK. And as you can see here, they're, they're, they're a relatively small company, but they've positioned themselves uh, and differentiated their solutions across all different types of open compute platforms. And even in their bottom uh, quadrant there with the open compute dropdown is an OCP comparison tool where they've taken the time to do a TCO modeling tool behind OCP versus traditional legacy gear. So this is just a really good way of, of showcasing, here's our OCP offerings and here's what makes us different in the market. Next slide. I also wanted to highlight another company in Europe, um, Circle B. Now this is a, one of our, our resellers uh, for WeWin based out of the Netherlands. And if you go to their website, and I encourage you to take a look, they've done a great job of positioning themselves as OCP, not just in the, in, in the specific solution, but as a company whole, looking at open technologies across their entire platform. So again, just another great example of somebody that's, that's branding themselves as an open company and then driving the open compute message. When it comes to corporate branding, um, we encourage our members to take and uh, really leverage the, the brand. Um, it's one of the bigger gaps that we see across is, is you, you have investments not only in time, but in financial commitments behind these brands. So please leverage them as much as you can on your website. Um, this is an example of what Edgecore has done on their site within products. Um, again, this isn't specific to any one of their products, but they're branding themselves as an OCP Platinum member. Uh, and that's, that's appropriate use of, of the Platinum level. And we'd like to see that across all of our members, whether it be community, silver, gold, or Platinum. I have a couple more here on the corporate branding and then a, a, a little bit on the product side. So this is the way that uh, some of the organizations might leverage the brand at events. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side, you've seen what Delta has been able to do. They're a platinum member as well. And then on the right-hand side, this is some of the material that Dirk had mentioned around the things that we can help co-produce for you that you can actually put 
on your products at events. And, and we encourage you to reach out to us, let us help you brand this, this signage and your events material uh, to get better exposure and to, 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 again, differentiate yourself among the other vendors at a particular event. Let's get into the product recognition. As Archana Archin mentioned, this is specific to products and it goes through a rigorous um, product evaluation so that we ensure that it meets the OCP guidelines. But once that product has reached that branding uh, and, and achieved that branding, we encourage you to put that on your product within your website. And even on the product, uh, whether it be on our site or on your uh, collateral as well. Helping the educate the market and on what OCP accepted is and OCP inspired is, ideally then, end customers are gonna be asking and looking for this logo and saying, is this product OCP accepted or OCP inspired? And you can then profile your products to better fit customer needs. And we've actually seen organizations start to leverage OCP accepted and OCP inspired in RFPs uh, coming out in the future to, to identify and say, we, we, we're looking for these particular products that meet, that know, that they know have been through the foundation approval process. All right, one of the biggest things we've launched in the last year is the OCP marketplace. So prior to the marketplace, it was really a bit difficult to understand, well, what is an OCP product? Where do I find it? Who makes it? Um, and so in March, we launched the marketplace. And, and to date, um, through eight months, we've seen a, a great deal of traction. And it's been through a few different versions here. But um, if you go to the OCP marketplace, it allows you to search uh, by product, by manufacturer, by accepted or inspired, and even by your solution provider. And you'll be able to see model numbers and part numbers, but it, you'll also be able to identify the specification which that product meets. Um, and you can click right through to the solution provider, and you'll also be able to identify, is this product accepted or inspired? And so far, we're, we're pretty pleased with the traction. Um, we're getting around 4,000 to 5,000 visits to the marketplace itself per month. And to date, we've seen over 3,500 click-throughs to the solution providers. But I'd like to stress to the, to the folks that are out branding their products in the future, it's important to, that, that we help promote this, but it's, it's equally important for you to have a, a solid OCP landing page on your side so that when they do click through to your company, to make sure that they're landing on an OCP specific page so there's some continuity and some consistency um, and recognition across and, and have a better overall end customer experience. And I'll turn it back over to Archana now um, so she can talk a little bit more about the, the projects in the community. So hi everyone again. Um, so I just wanted to highlight what OCP is about and what our community is about. We've got nine different projects that we are running today. Uh, more are under consideration. Um, they range from verticals like a data center vertical or a telco vertical or a high performance compute vertical to things that are more product centric like networking, rack and power, server and storage to hardware management that is now looking at, you know, broadly across the, the tools and the best practices for remote machine management, as well as compliance and interoperability, both from tools, software, operating system, um, you know, as well as interoperability of products within a given rack. Um, our networking product uh, project group is also focused not just on hardware in terms of switches, but also there's a significant portion of our networking group that is now looking at software um, that is you know, running on networking gear, whether it's um, you know, an operating system like ONI or if it's Sonic or something like that. So um, for all of these projects, when you go to the website that's at the bottom, opencompute.org slash products, uh, projects, you can either subscribe to the project group by clicking on the subscribe uh, link there. You can go on their wiki to see exactly what uh, the project is working on, the, the community is working on, what are the initiatives of that 
uh, community. There might be subgroups that you may be interested in. Like I mentioned for networking, server has its own subgroups. Um, there's a meeting calendar set up. Each one of these projects meets once a month remotely, so you can join in, similar to what you're doing today with a GoToWebinar link. Uh, you can subscribe to the calendar and add it to your um, you know, respective calendars. And you can you know, join in, even if it's just to listen and hear what the trends are, what the community is concerned about, what you know, suggestions for improvements people are bringing forward. You know, we have proposals that come through for new and innovative ideas. We have guest speakers that come in that talk about the challenges that they're facing and they're opening it up to the community to, you know, get feedback from the community, get input from the community, as well as we have a lot of people that give their input from the community to various different uh, things that they're hearing about, uh, new things that they're hearing about, internally things that they're you know looking to modify best practices or procedures so there's a lot of interaction in these communities and sometimes we can get up to 40 50 people on a call interacting so it's great exposure for our members to get involved various different groups within a corporation get involved so if you take one of our memberships you know you might have somebody from their storage unit join the storage project group or somebody from their data center you know if, if they're looking at consuming um, uh, you know, open compute products, they join from the data center group. So you don't need to just join one. And your, your organization certainly doesn't need to be just, you know, centric to one project, you can spread, uh, spread this across your organization. So multiple different ways to join, um, I would highly encourage you to spread the word within your organizations across your organizations, and you know, get get involved. Next slide. So how can you participate? Like I mentioned, join the mailing list. Join the online, online project meetings. Um, under our events page, we are listing both in-person OCP events uh, that we're you know, sponsoring, like Summit uh, that Dirk mentioned, but we also do a lot of engineering workshops. We do a lot of information days. Um, and we also participate in other people's events, like the Nokia web webinar that was mentioned um, on um, on Dirk's slide. So you can participate in those events being an OCP member and uh, I would highly encourage you to, to participate so you hear what the industry is doing and you know what the buzz is. We also participate in a lot of events but I know our membership also participates in a lot of events. So if you see a place that we need to be active in or you think that it would be beneficial for OCP to participate in, and it's not listed in our uh, events page, it's not on our radar, please let us know. Get a hold of Callie, get a hold of myself, get a hold of Dirk. Let us know where we need to be because we're relying on our membership and our community to tell us. Uh, there's so many industry events going on worldwide, and you know, there's just a handful of uh, us in the foundation. So we may not have visibility to it, and we're really relying on our community and our members to help us get involved. Um, the other way to contribute is really through giving us your insight. And historically, I know that uh, OCP has been heavily reliant on you know, our traditional IP-centric contributions, which are specs and designs and products, right? But now we're really opening the aperture and we really, really want a lot more than just IP-centric contributions. We are looking for reference architectures. We are looking for configurations that you have tested with OCP gear. Um, you know, if you've got a storage node that you've tested with an operating system, we would really like to hear that because our community could leverage that. And when our adopters are looking at buying solutions, they're looking at buying the entire solution. And so having tested configurations is very, very important for them to see that, you know, the hardware has actually been tested in an environment or tested in, you know, along with software. Um, white papers that you might have published um, on OCP gear would be really great. Case studies, 
Um, we went to Broadband World Forum and there were educational videos uh, that some of our suppliers provided us that they have done on OCP. And we would love to have that as part of our portfolio and be able to post it on our website so that other people that are looking at purchasing um, OCP solutions can see how, uh, you know, how a supplier is utilizing OCP gear in their environment. Um, webinars are great, testimonials are great, information days are great. So we're looking for all sorts of contributions that are both IP and non-IP centric. Um, and then last but not least, you know, we encourage you to get involved in our leadership. Um, if you could, you know, these are all volunteer leadership positions for project lead, for IC member, regional community leaders. We're looking for help. So we are a nonprofit and we rely on your volunteer leadership. We rely on your participation and really encourage you as an organization and as a corporate member to really just help us in any which way you can. And give us give us the guidance as well as you know taking guidance from the community. Next slide. So what are the benefits of OCP? Well, you've heard about our, our projects, you've heard about our community. You can go online and see the membership that we have today. We have a lot of members, um, both corporate and individual. Um, the one thing that we bring to you is insight and an awareness. Um, those that get actively engaged really reap the benefits of that insight and, and really get to see firsthand what industry leaders and visionaries are doing out there in terms of open compute. You really also see an, emerging, uh, an emergence of any new needs, any new innovations, current solutions that are being you know, brought forward as well as being utilized out there by the community and I think that this it's a great interactive forum to really identify potential business opportunities for you as well as learning from those that might have done something slightly differently and leveraging that insight and that subject matter ex uh, expertise. I think by getting involved you also allow yourself a much more agile and efficient execution relative to other organizations that maybe are not that active. So I think that the more you engage, the more you're going to get out of it. You know, when you need the help, this is the, a great forum <laughs> to get instant feedback. And, you know, when you come to the project meetings, you'll see that you'll get a lot of feedback, sometimes too much feedback, but you'll get it and it'll be almost instantaneous. So I think that you will also, by engaging, create an awareness for your own organization within the community. So the more you get involved, the more people know about you, your organization, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. And I think that people really do want to help and learn. And then last but not least, you're going to be able to drive some innovation. So if you've got unique ideas, if you're bringing something really interesting and new to the program and you've solved a, a particular problem in a very unique way, I think that you're going to be able to bring this to the community, get, you know, get the feedback, get the, the insight that you need, and also get adopters. So I think that you can really, really change the way you do business by participating. Next slide. The community's principles and the, the the reason that I bring this up is don't just think of OCP as an advertising channel. It is your extended community. It is a technical community. There are some very brilliant and smart people in this community that are engaged. So put into it and you will get a lot out of it. I think they will help you solve problems. They'll help you drive innovations. You, you can really, really, truly leverage this community for your own benefit. Um, the only thing that we encourage is be clear in what you're asking, because if you're not clear, you're not going to get answers that you're seeking. And then be authentic. Um, you know, this is just a very real group of people, and we just, we, we want you to be part of it. And as you can tell from the membership that's here, the foundation staff that's here, we're really all passionate about being open. Next slide. 
I think that's it. Uh, that's that's the message. So I'm gonna turn it back to Callie, and if there are any questions, um, or if Steve and Dirk want to ch chime in while Callie's, you know, cutting the questions. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, listing the questions. Um, please chime in. Thanks, Archana. We currently don't have any questions, so um, if you think of one, go ahead and enter it into the chat box or raise your hand. Um, but Dirk and Steve or Archana, do you have anything you want to say before we wrap up here? No, I, I just encourage anybody that has any questions to, to reach out to us via email. We're happy to answer any other additional questions um, about the material that was presented today. Yes, definitely. Dirk? The only thing I, oh, I was going to say, the only thing I was going to add is that we plan on doing more of these seminars from an information perspective. So if the people that are on the phone can give us feedback, I think that would also really be appreciated. And I think there is a question. It was just thanking us for our information. <laughs> oh, okay. Great. No, thank you for your time. All right. Thanks, everyone. And just a reminder, the recording will be sent out to everyone in the next couple of days. And um, so everyone who registered will get that. Um, we actually just had a question come in. For the product landing page, is the plan to continue to charge from Jeff Sharp? Uh, yes, they, I believe that if the question is regarding the marketplace, the the uh, the plan is to continue to charge for the marketplace. There's an additional fee. So there are two fees usually associated with um, Open Compute. One is the corporate membership fee, which is the community silver, gold, or platinum. And then if uh, companies wish to be part of the reseller program, the which is our solution provider program, uh, there is an additional fee for that, uh, which does include the marketplace. I think there's another question on the OCP Summit. Yes, they're um, asking about updates on the OCP Summit for 2018. Dirk, do you want to just kind of refresh what you talked about for that? Yeah, so I just touched on Summit uh, very briefly. Um, if you go to the website under events, there's a full page. Um, just hit um, OCP Summit, and there's all the information you would want to know. Um, we, we are open. Uh, we have open registration, so we are taking your registration. So this is currently the period for early bird registration, which goes through March. So um, that has already begun. If you're asking about registration, um, sponsorship, we do still have some sponsorships available. So um, you can go to the, the, the um, sponsorship section and download the prospectus. I also provided a link on the slides here that we just presented a, um, a, a few minutes ago on Summit. And so that can give you all the information and we do still have some sponsorships available. So um, hopefully that answers your question about Summit. Um, if not, then feel free to reach out to Kaylee or I and um, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about Summit. Yeah, and one thing I'll add is that the um, full agenda will, will be published in January. So that'll be out as well. All right, that looks like all the questions we had. Um, I would like to thank everyone for joining us today and have a great day. Thank you.